Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. In how many ways can a batsman score exactly 25 runs by scoring single runs, fours and sixes only, irrespective of the sequence of scoring shots? It is not possible here to use permutation and combination, so we'll have to solve it manually because this is a combination of different runs. So now we can decode possibilities one by one. Let's take a single run alone. With just a single runs, we can take 25 runs, so that is one possibility. It is also evident that the total runs given is a odd number, that is 25. So if you take just 4s alone, you cannot achieve 25. If you take 6 alone, you cannot achieve 25 because it's an odd number and 4 and 6 would provide only even numbers. Even if you consider both 4s and 6 alone, you cannot achieve an odd number because multiples of 4s and 6 would be even numbers and adding even numbers would in turn again produce even number. So to achieve 25, we'll have to combine either 4s and single runs or 6 and single runs or both 4s and 6 and single runs. So these are the possibilities that we'll have to check. Now let's consider the case where he has taken single runs and 4s alone. The first case would be when he took 1-4 and the rest are single runs. The second case would be when he has taken 2-4s and the rest are single runs. Then 3-4s and the rest are single runs. And 4-4s four which will be 16 runs and the rest are single runs. And then 5-4s which is 20 and the rest will be single runs. And 6-4s which is 24 and the rest is a single run. But 7-4s will give us 28 which exceeds the total number of runs. So these are the only possibilities considering 4s and 1s. Now let's consider the combination of single runs and 6 runs alone. The first possibility will be 1, 6 and the rest are single runs. Second possibility will be 2, 6s and the rest are single runs. Third possibility will be 3, 6s, 18 plus the rest are single runs. Fourth possibility will be 4 sixes which will give us 24 and there is one run remaining which will be a single run. Now if he hits 5 sixes that would exceed 25 because 6 fives are 30. Therefore these are the only possibilities when we consider single runs and sixes alone. Now we can consider the case where he has taken single runs, 4s and sixes. Let's consider a case where he has taken only one six and the rest are in combinations of 4s and single runs the first possibility is when he has taken one six one four and the rest are in single runs now this would not exceed 25 because six plus four is ten and the rest can easily be filled up with ones the next possibility is when he has taken one six and two fours and the rest are in single runs this will be 6 plus 8, which is 14. The rest will be in single runs. The next possibility is when there is 1, 6, 3, 4s, and the rest are filled by single runs. This will be 6 plus 12, and the rest will be filled by single runs. The next possibility is when there is 1, 6, 4, 4s, and the rest are in single runs. This would lead us to 6 plus 16, which is equal to 22, and the rest 3 will be filled by single runs. Now the next possibility if you consider 1, 6 and 5, 4s, this will exceed 25 because 5, 4s are 20 and 6, 1s are 6. Adding up we get 26. Therefore this can be rejected. So we'll go to the next possibility where it's a combination of 2, 6s and the rest are in 4s and single runs. The first possibility will be 2, 6s and 1, 4 which will give us 12 plus 4 that's 16. Therefore the other runs can be filled by single runs. The next possibility is when there are two sixes and two fours, which will give us 12 plus 8, that's 20. So the remaining five can be filled by single runs. The next possibility is two sixes and three fours, which will give us 12 plus 12, that is 24. And there is only one more run remaining that can be filled by single runs. So we can easily say that four fours cannot be taken when there is already two sixes taken because that will exceed 25. The last possibility remaining is when three sixes are hit so with three sixes and one four we get 18 plus four that is 22 so the remaining three runs can be scored with single runs now two fours won't be possible with three sixes because 18 plus 8 will give us 26 which is greater than 25 therefore we have reached the end of all possibilities so counting all the possibilities we get a total of 19 possibilities therefore option b is the right answer